One reason that you may want to hide your worksheets or workbooks is that if you got a lot of data you're working with and for the workbook, like the example I have here, let's pretend that I have a hundred worksheets and let's say out of the hundred I just want to look at worksheet number one and number fifty. It's going to be a pain to go ahead and scroll through to get to fifty and, and then scroll back to get to one unless I want to right click and use the shortcuts and quickly go to one and then right click again to go back to fifty. Wouldn't it just be easier to go ahead and hide everything in between so I can just go between you know the one and then the number fiftieth worksheet if it's Utah then click on Utah. I think so. Nonetheless you have the option to do it if you'd like. So to go ahead and hide a worksheet you can either come up here on the home tab to the cells group click on the format drop down arrow go to hide and unhide and there you go hide sheet. Of course you have your hide rows and hide columns which we talked about in an earlier training video. But here we're talking about hiding the sheet and what sheet do I have selected? You can see that it's right there Utah. Hide it. It disappears. Of course if you want to hide more than one hold down the shift key so I can select both and then right click on both and you can hide those in a single right click without having to go through the ribbon hide they disappear and then to bring them back just go ahead and give it a right click and say unhide and which ones we want unhidden let's do all of them now you can't hold down the shift key and select one or use the control key you have to do it one at a time which okay that's the downside to it double click right click unhide double click right click unhide double click and there we go now having said that if I hid all these worksheets but the totals and my totals were linked to the data in these other worksheets would it still pull in the totals yes it would and that's one of the benefits there of having to hide the worksheets and still work in the workbook without having the data being hidden as well when it's pulling from the other worksheets here what about hiding workbooks let me go ahead and create a couple more workbooks on the fly here by right clicking on the corresponding button to the window that I have open and I get my jump list so I can go ahead and say Excel opens up a new workbook let's right click on the button again for that corresponding window open up another workbook so I got a total of three is it easier to go ahead and toggle between the two and not have to move over the one or if you got like four or five here additional workbooks to have to go down here then click on that to come back here to click on that one but you want them open so you can access them quickly if you need to look at them well you can hide the workbooks by coming up here clicking on the view tab and let's see the current workbook that I'm in you can see up here on the title bars book two just go to the window group and say hide and it disappears again and you learn this in my Windows training video for every button that you have down below on the taskbar you have its corresponding window and it's called a button because when you click on it it minimizes it down to the taskbar you click on the button again and it restores that window so this is for book one if I come over here and say okay let's come up here on the view tab and hide this one now I have two workbooks that are invisible and just the one that I have open here so what's gonna happen if I go ahead and close out of here and I don't save the changes to book two but I do save it to the original workbook that I had here hiding sheets and workbooks and I save that let me go ahead and right click and open up hiding sheets and workbooks just remember that you hid the workbook and you can see down below it's got just the generic Excel program until I unhide the workbook which you can do it by coming up here clicking on the view tab and saying unhide opens up all the workbooks that are hidden select the one and click okie dokie and we're back to where we started now that's one way that it can be helpful when it comes to hiding workbooks and the other way let me right click to open up a couple more workbooks here so I've got two workbooks plus the original when it comes to navigating from workbook to workbook again you can do it down here in the taskbar or you can come up here on the view tab go to the windows group and click on switch windows and it has a list of all the workbooks that are open well again if I hide one and I come back up here to another workbook and I click on the view tab and go to the window group and click on switch windows that workbook is open but I don't have to scroll down if I have a lot of workbooks that I want open but not visible until I'm ready for it in which case when I'm ready for that workbook unhide it select it click okie dokie then I can go ahead and work with that in my workspace and keep the others open and if these two are bothering me because I have too many windows open here go ahead and go to this workbook and hide this one so you don't have to mess with too many open windows but yet have them available in a click just by unhiding it again and okay and we got our book two back now 
Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.